Global domination. In the world of high-speed motorsports, to be a winner takes skill, perseverance, and the best equipment money can buy. In 1979, Fountain Power Boats was launched with one man's goal of building the fastest, smoothest, best handling, and most dependable boats on the water. Reggie Fountain believes that actions speak louder than words and backs up the claims of his company by consistently dominating world racing championships and setting offshore speed records. It's through these efforts that Fountain has become the dominant brand in offshore power boats. Every new technology developed through racing is integrated into each and every Fountain power boat. Reggie Fountain is willing to put his name on the line because he believes in what he builds. Drawing on over 50 years of experience, Reggie is hands-on all the way. Racing has been his life's blood for over five decades. His unparalleled racing accomplishments include becoming one of the few elite drivers in boat racing history to notch 100 career wins, launching a Hall of Fame career in the low-flying world of F1 tunnel outboards, Reggie personally holds three world titles and seven national championships. He was the only driver to be selected by Mercury to be on both the F1 and offshore factory teams. Reggie's racing accomplishments weave the fabric of which legends are made. He's raced against the most prominent names in marine racing history and has left them in his wake. In the early 90s, Reggie Fountain made racing history when he defeated a star-studded field of boat racers, including Don Johnson, Kurt Russell, and Chuck Norris, with a triple-engine V-bottom that wasn't even given a chance at beating the fast four-engine cat of the day. This is New Orleans now. Keep a close eye on those gauges. We gotta have this one. There it goes. Let's get it. Woo! You see the way we're pulling away from them movie stars? Bye-bye, boys! <laughs> I love it! Eight times in the last 16 years, Fountain Power Boats have broken their own speed record. In their last attempt, Reggie Fountain personally shattered the APVA SBI UIM V-bottom speed record with an amazing one-way pass of 177.35 miles per hour. Fountain is the only boat builder in the history of offshore racing to win every major V-bottom championship in a single season. And the record speaks for itself. Rumors of mid 100 mile per hour top speeds from many of today's performance catamarans brought the Fountain team to Jacksonville to challenge this myth. Everybody thinks the cats are the fastest boats. Doesn't seem to be that way out on the race course, so we'll see what it is out here on the poker run course. You know, we hear about all these fast boats, but wherever we go, we don't usually find them. We just want to see what the, the cats are doing here. We want to see what the uh, other V bottoms of our competitors are doing here. Their goal? to be the first boat to reach the first checkpoint. The flat water of the Intracoastal was a distinct advantage for the Cats, and the unintended staggered start allowed several of the big boats to jump the lead as the Fountain team was still positioning midway back in the fleet. Pouring it on, Team Fountain immediately began working their way through the field. And within seconds, the Fountain V-Bottom was in striking range of the lead boat, 
a 3,100 horsepower cat leading the rest of the field by more than a mile. The Fountain team knew they had to catch the cat before the narrow pass of the first bridge, and then on to the checkpoint. Mission accomplished. I was up in the air in a helicopter. The main thing there was to keep an eye where all these other boats were so we could uh, make sure that we were out front. And one thing we tried to do when we got so far ahead, I'd slow them down because all the other guys give up. We wanted them to max their stuff out. Those cats were so far behind at the first stop, they didn't even go up to the card stop. They waited outside to catch up and take a second shot at us. I saw him in the rearview mirror, and, and I knew we had a ways to go, so we pulled back uh, so he could catch up with us because uh, we wanted to film us pulling away from him. Okay, boys, let's go now. Since there's no movie stars down there, bye-bye, pussycats. to the next checkpoint, the fountain encountered the rest of the field, going in the opposite direction, still making their way to the first card stop. And what of the earlier cat? Woo! Looks like that cat couldn't stand the strain and pain. We came here to find out really how fast these cat boats are, because this boat is clearly, we're campaigning it as the first overall fastest boat in the world. Well, we determined today that we're faster than anybody that was here. I guess we've heard enough about a 180 mile an hour cat, so ever how fast they went, we'll um, pick any speed they want. It was pretty clear we were faster. Now, we'd like to catch them out in the ocean one time with the waves three, four, five, and six foot because the difference would grow dramatically. And so begins the legend of the cat killer. 2007 was a benchmark year for the brand, as the Fountain teams captured world championships in every venue in which they competed, 